Hey friends, I don't talk that often about the photos Liz Anfrood and Chris Kramer took because I think there's a good chance they were tampered with. I think it would be a mistake to build a whole theory around the photographs from that camera. But there's one photo that I would like to mention, and that's the nighttime photo of Chris. Now, the, the, the nighttime photo that people think that Liz Anfrood took, or that she possibly took, or a third party took, of Chris Kramer's, and it's, it's not really the back of her head, it's her hair. So, and it's not her whole hair. To me, it looks like it's like kind of like three-fourths of her hair, because you can, you can kind of see where the bun might be, like from other pictures, and then you can compare it to that picture, and, you know, I, 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 I don't think it's the whole hair. I think it's about three-fourths of her hair. I could be wrong, but... You know, what's striking, and, and other people have mentioned this, they've said how clean the hair looks. You know, if you're in the wilderness for eight days, you're not going to have that clean of hair. Now, other people, they've said, well, you know, the photo, you know, the, the flash was so bright that because of the flash, it gave the hair the illusion of being clean. Now, this is where I, I, I want to step in and say, you know, I, I want to throw a flag there and say that that's not the case, Okay. Now, okay, would a flash give an illusion of blonde hair that might be a little dirty being cleaner than it is? It possibly. But would a flash hide debris? No, it wouldn't. Would a flash illuminate debris and allow you to see it better? Yes, I believe it would. I look at that picture and it's bright and because of the flash. And if there was greenery in there, if there was like dark debris or mud, it would stand out because that hair looks very bright from that photograph. So if, if there was something green, it would stand out and I see nothing green. The only thing that you can see is a, 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 a possible red trace, which alludes to blood, but not, not something from this, you know, the surroundings. Friends, if you have like a... a a trail in the wilderness near your house. How many, you know, how many steps you had to take before you run into your first spider's web? You know, a, a web that across the path. Then how many steps you had to take till you go run across your second? You know, I, I live next to a forested hiking trail, and there are spider webs all over the case. Now, of course, spider webs can't be seen unless you're, you know, really up close and looking. But what do spiders collect? Bugs. And usually a lot of the bugs are black. You know, I, if Chris Kramers and Lisanne Froon had really been on the move for eight days, imagine how many spider webs they probably went through. And yet there's no debris from those spider webs, nothing that those webs might have caught, no greenery from the shrubs. And someone might say, well, you know, they, there was a river there and, and they, they bathed in the river. Well, hello, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful here, but hello, if you go in the water and you come out of this water, this isn't like your shower, okay? This is water that's not very, it's, 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 it might be fresh water, but it's still not very clean. There's debris in the water. Your hair is probably going to have more debris coming out of the water than it did going in, depending on how dirty it was going in. My point was, is that eight days being in the jungle... Not not the jungle. I, I say jungle. But everyone says ju I'm going to say wilderness. Eight days being in the wilderness, I would expect to have something in that hair. I'm not saying I'd expect it to be like all dirty, but I think it's very strange that I can't see one trace of greenery, one shrub, one bug, one evidence that they ran into a spider's web. I mean, seriously, I mean, go on a hike next to your house and you're going to run into the debris. You're going to run into spider's webs. You're going to have gnats. You're going to have all the stuff in your hair. So it, 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 if you just walk eight hours, you, you, your hair is going to have debris in it, let alone if, if you're going to eight days. So the fact that there's no debris in that hair that I can see, the only thing I can see possibly is, you know, a, a, a trace of red. And also, that, as I said, that picture, it, it's awfully strange because I, I don't think it, I don't, I'm not really sure it, it, 
It looks like three-fourths of Chris's hair, but we can't really see that, you know, I, I, I don't know how much more we can say. I mean, would it be right to say the back of her head, or should we just say three-fourths of her hair? Because there's, there's a lot in that picture that is, you know, leaves to be desired. But what we do know is that we can look at a flashlighted version of that. It's all lit up. And if I'm wrong, I challenge you to go and look for yourselves. You know, it's easy. Nighttime photo, Chris's head. All you gotta do is Google it. If I knew the capabilities, I, I would have the the picture of her head or of, of her hair while while I'm, I'm 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 talking. Friends, I don't I don't think Chris. I don't think she was in the wilderness on a path for eight days. I think she was kidnapped on day one. And on day eight, her abductors took a picture of her hair because it was part of the ruse. So I, I think that is far more likely judging based on the picture of her hair. But, you know, that's, you know, how far do we want to go with photographs? I think they're tampered with. But anyway, that picture of her hair, if it's a legit picture of her hair, it would have greenery in it, I believe, if she'd been in the wilderness for that long. Anyway, thank you for watching, my friends. Take care. Have a great day.